Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous couple of videos, we learned about uh, basic attention mechanism like uh, how self attention works and so on. So let us uh, quickly recap it. So we could uh, uh, divide it into uh, five steps. The first one is like we create query k and value using input vectors. And the second step is like we compute attention scores using query and k. And uh, then we convert that attention scores to a probability distribution using softmax. And then step four is like we compute weighted values by multiplying attention scores to corresponding values. So in previous uh, video, there was an error like I used star here, which is not correct. So it should be cross and I also mentioned a bit uh, like uh, where X is a dot product and the star is a point wise matrix multiplication. Okay. So this was a simple correction and uh, uh, in step five, we simply um, add up the weighted values to get the final output. Okay. So step four and five is something that is a little tricky to understand if uh, there is a uh, uh, some confusion uh, look at uh, uh, the previous couple of videos again i also created a, a medium post to elaborate it further if you want to look at it i will add uh, it in video description so that you can check that out as well so uh, in this video we will try to optimize step four and five so for step four and five we could simply use a uh, a matrix multiplication simple matrix multiplication in between uh, attention score and value matrix and we will get the same result as we were getting when we were doing this uh, um, formatting and then doing a uh, pointwise matrix multiplication okay so let us look at how it is exactly same so here you can see we get uh, softmax attention scores if we run a uh, uh, matrix multiplication between query and uh, key transpose and this first row is the attention score for query one versus all the keys okay and in current implementation what we do is we multiply the corresponding uh, attention score with values so like here we are multiplying q1 k1 into v1 q1 k2 this is q1 k2 into v2 and q1 k3 into v3 and then we simply do a pointwise summation or pointwise sum to get the final output okay now let us look at when we run the matrix multiplication what will happen so let us say this is the score this is the first row in the tension score and this is our value matrix okay so what is happening here when we do matrix multiplication, this will be multiplied element wise with this one and then summed it up. Okay. So when we multiply this uh, score with the column of the value matrix, we get actually this column. Okay. This is the current approach how we doing. And then when we sum it up, we get 1.9. And it will be the same when we do the matrix multiplication. Okay. So that's like uh, quite convenient to scale it up. Okay. So that way we can use a uh, matrix multiplication instead of these, these many lines of code. Okay. So we can simply comment this and we can simply use a uh, matrix multiplication instead of these many lines okay so this is mainly to make it easier in terms of understanding like what is happening under the hood okay so i hope that is clear like uh, how matrix multiplication is similar in terms of actual output compared to these formattings and then doing pointwise matrix multiplication okay so we can confirm it as well so let us run simply like uh, print Mat, well, matrix multiplication in between soft max attention score versus v okay so we have this output and we are also printing the matrix multiplication between uh, 
soft friction tension score and value and we should get exactly same output as the output okay so let us run and see it so you can see like uh, this is the output that we are getting from matrix multiplication and this is the output that is coming from the uh, traditional or more detailed approach okay now to convert it into a batched we don't need to do much so what we need is so here you can see here we are doing a simple one input in case of batch we it will be more than uh, it will be two or more okay so let us do the simplest example we will add uh, one more input as exactly the same as we have at the moment okay so that it will be also easier to confirm we are getting the same output okay so this is simply we updated with one more input so now we have an input of batch 2 so we have like uh, this is input 1 and this is input 2 and to accommodate this we need to change a few things okay so we don't need uh, these so we will comment these traditional methods if we need we can use that as well but uh, i recommend using like a bit more optimal uh, optimal approach so we will use that if you need i can push uh, uh, updated code for batched approach as well the traditional one but uh, let us see if we need it so this is okay this is okay this is okay as well here we need to change so here we need to transpose the last row and column okay so we will simply say minus one and minus two and the remaining thing is same exactly now if we run it we should get exactly same output as earlier but two uh, matrices okay in case of uh, uh, because we simply copied the first input twice okay so that it will be uh, consistent to see if we are getting the same output or not okay so we should get uh, this output so let us copy it and paste here let us simply comment it out so that we can confirm it okay so let us run and see it so we should get two matrices of this kind okay so let us run and see it so you see we get exactly same two matrices what we were getting with just one uh, input okay so this is simply like uh, batched implementation of self tension and uh, i hope that is clear if it is not ask in the comment section i will try to explain it further so in this video we will stop here in the next video we will start learning about multi headed tension so where instead of having one query key and value matrices we will have more than one okay so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next